What's going on guys? Welcome back to Spartan Mining YouTube channel and today we're going to be talking about the Asus H370 Mining Master Motherboard. Stay tuned. Alright, so there's not really a whole lot about this board out right now. Uh, there's a lot of speculation on whether or not it can run, you know, 20 regular graphics cards if it has to be a mix of uh, 12 regular GPUs and then the P104s or P106s, uh, there's still a lot of debate on it. Uh, currently in the manual it is saying that you can only have 12 AMD and then 8 of the P104 or P106 cards. However, I have 14 RX 570s running on SMOS right now and no P104 or P106 cards. So, we're going to uh, take a look at it, see what I've came up with, show you guys what uh, the hands-on about it, so yeah. All right, so I'll just go ahead and show you the simple mining dashboard right now. You can see that is all the GPUs. They are all hashing properly. And it has been running for two hours and 32 minutes. No restarts. Uh, and here are all the GPUs that are up and running. One, two, three, four, and then 10 right there. So 14 GPUs. I have tried to get 15 to run, it doesn't run. Um, whenever I plug the 15th GPU in to that nice little slot right there, it powers on and gets video, uh, but the screen's black and nothing else happens. Whenever I plug in GPU 16 to that little slot right there, then I get no screen interaction but the GPUs and such power on. So the GPUs will power up and everything will power up. However, once I go over the 14 card limit that I have found, uh, I can't get anything else to happen. So uh, if any of you guys may have any uh, suggestions or if anybody out there, anybody else out there has this mining motherboard who has found a way around it, then uh, any help would be appreciated. Because this is kind of, uh, you know, like the first hands-on type deal. Yes, it is a mess right here because this is the Nanoxia Hydra 5 case right now. It is not fully built yet. However, uh, I was wanting to get this 20 GPU motherboard working to have 20 GPUs to actually display for you guys. But so far, let me see, I'll, I'll turn this fan off. I'm not real sure how loud it is, but I'll turn it off. Um, okay, so... I wanted to have this build, this actual review of the case, once I had the 20 GPU mining motherboard, which I have it in there, I just can't figure out how to get past the 14 card limit. Uh, I have some paperwork which I will show you guys. So here's the paperwork that it comes with. Uh, installing the mining cards, etc. So it says to have 13 cards running, you can see the order. And then 20 cards, it says 12 AMD and then 8 of the P104 106s. I have 14 RX 570s plugged in. So we are already beating what the actual manual or this installation guide actually says. Okay, we're already surpassed that mark. Besides the fact that we are running on SMOS with 14 GPUs with no issues. So we're already beating the SMOS standards and we're already beating what the mining configuration guide actually says. So there's a there has to be settings that we are missing, but considering this is the actual first release of the mining BIOS, or of the BIOS of this motherboard, you can see right there, first edition in June, I'm thinking that that's what we're running into. We're actually just running into an issue with the actual BIOS. Um, it does make a huge difference on how you plug in these power supplies. Uh, you have to go 7x7x7 seven by seven by seven because Otherwise, the power doesn't distribute properly, and uh, you'll get errors, and your cards won't hash correctly. But for now, what I can tell you is, you do have 14 working GPUs on this motherboard, and they are all AMD. So, I'm still going to be testing it, trying to figure out other things that I can try. Uh, I did get 10 GPUs to load up into Windows just fine. I didn't have any, any issues with it. I would show, uh, you know, more screen of the actual motherboard itself but you know it's hidden down in there 
so uh, sorry about that but anyways it's a nice looking motherboard and just so you guys can actually see that I have it there it is <clears throat> but where we're at right now is we have 14 GPUs so if anything it is the the largest or well yes yeah, the highest capacity motherboard that you can buy right now and run 14 GPUs so I do have 8 gigs of RAM in there I did try it on Windows like I was saying with 8 gigs of RAM a fresh install of Windows 64 and uh, all we could get was 10 GPUs to, to show up they all hash fine but that was our limit we did have to set the uh, the virtual memory paging size to uh, 32,000 but it recommends a hundred gigabytes on the paging file size so there's that option of it as well I think it's just probably something simple I mean I have enough power that's three 1200 watt power supplies so I have 3600 watts of power so that's not the issue here uh, it's probably just something simple in the BIOS again if anybody has any ideas on or you know recommendations on what to do about adding that 15th GPU because literally it turns on all the cards power on and then the screen activates but nothing else happens so maybe if you guys have something that you can tell me that would be awesome uh, we'll go over to the simple mining dashboard and I'll actually show you guys what it looks like so see right here So that is the no-name rig right here. This is the actual uh, 14 GPU rig. You can see there, 14 GPUs, and it's hashing at 388.44 mega hash. Um, the overclocks that I have is 1950 across the board with 1100 on the core, and three power stage. And then here, I'll show you what it looks like whenever you go into there. I can't change anything else now in simple mining because it has a limit of GPUs where it says it can only run 13 GPUs properly so we're already beating the SMOS standard we're already beating the motherboard standard so now we just gotta figure it out so if you guys have any ideas join us over here in the discord talk to us there let us know something and uh, you know chat with us you can see how many people are active right now so you know jump, jump over to the discord chat us up see if you got any uh, information that you can relate to us, any kind of ideas, any type of settings that we can change in the BIOS. Uh, we've tried Gen 1, we've tried Gen 2. Uh, we can't take it off of mining mode because it just uh, completely shuts the BIOS down and then trying to actually reset the CMOS is a pain in the ass. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys have any ideas, comment down below, jump in Discord, you know, talk to us there. I would really appreciate it. But as soon as I find out more about this Asus H3, H370 Mining Master motherboard, I will let you guys know because I am trying to get 20 GPUs, 20 regular GPUs running on this motherboard. We are at 14 so far. I think we can do it. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Be on the lookout for more content. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified as soon as something comes out. Check the description for the links to the Discord, the Reddit, and the Facebook page. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace!